Every day, the average North American receives over 3,000 product marketing messages. From that reassuring glow of our TV sets, we are bombarded with enticements to buy and consume. Are North Americans being held mentally hostage by the advertising industry? And is the way we think and act somehow changed by this exposure? The people at the Media Foundation say the answer is yes. Calvin Klein can make you feel inadequate about some part of your body then they can say, well, gee, if you buy this, whatever, then, then maybe you'll feel better. So they are creating insecurities, and then uh, they're selling you something to, to fill that insecurity. Kali Lawson is a culture jammer. From the Vancouver headquarters of the Media Foundation, Lawson and a group of media-savvy activists are creating their own brand of anti-advertising. The group pulls no punches. No corporation is beyond their attack from McDonald's and the Mick Grease campaign to a scathing indictment of Calvin Klein's advertising practices, the foundation is attempting to counteract the message to buy. We're into selling ideas. They are into product marketing, we're into social marketing. And we see social marketing as being the cutting edge of, 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 of uh, advertising in, in the 90s and beyond. The Media Foundation's brand of social marketing is very critical of the consumer lifestyle. The average North American consumes five times more than a Mexican, ten times more than a Chinese person, and thirty times more than a person from India. We are the most voracious consumers in the world, a world that could die because of the way we North Americans live. Give it a rest. November 29th is Buy Nothing Day. Through the production of TV ads and by publishing the Adbusters magazine, the group argues that our consumer lifestyle is not sustainable and pro-consumption messages are hazardous to our mental health. Obsession. Why are 9 out of 10 women dissatisfied with some aspect of their own bodies? The beauty industry is the beast. They've got something to do with our personality, the way we feel about our bodies, the, the self-confidence we have. Uh, our consumer culture gets into every nook and cranny of our lives uh, and is the, the biggest defining characteristic of, of our culture. Uh, it, it's In some sense, it's everything. The Media Foundation has produced over two dozen different TV anti-ads, and they have published 25 issues of their Adbusters magazine since they started in 1989. They have a website and have gained support from all over the world. But they get no support from the advertising and television industries. From the beginning, the group has battled the major networks because they refuse to sell airtime to the foundation. Now they are taking their fight to the courts to try and force Canadian broadcasters to run their ads. We have launched a lawsuit here in Canada against uh, CBC, and that's coming up this fall. It's currently before the BC Supreme Court. And that started a few years ago with an ad we produced for sustainable transportation called Autosaurus. It's coming. The most significant event in automotive history. It's coming. The end of the age of the automobile. It's frustrating first, and, and then ultimately it is upsetting, and a lot of people agree with us. Uh, we get a lot of support. Um, uh, there are letters coming in off our website constantly, and they are cc to the networks that, that we've been dealing with, and uh, overwhelmingly they support our stance and the fact that these ads should be out there right alongside product ads. We contacted several of the most prominent ad agencies in Vancouver, and none of them wished to talk to us on camera. And as for the local television stations, well, 
Their position is that they have every right to refuse to sell airtime for messages that threaten their advertising base. We have a serious problem when it's okay to, to air hundreds of pro-consumption messages, but when a Canadian citizen comes in and wants to air an anti-consumption message, then he or she is not allowed on the air. Then we have a major, major problem. So Lawson and the Media Foundation will press on. Currently, they are focusing on the Joe Chemo campaign, which attacks tobacco advertising. And they're planning to increase the publication of ad busters to every other month. In the future, we will cut back. Uh, and, uh, and I think for the first time in the history of capitalism, uh, consumption is becoming a controversial issue. And uh, bit by bit, every North American has to sort of look himself in the mirror and say, how much is enough? For On the Hill, <laughs> I'm Brent Stafford. consumers in the world. A world that could die because of the way we North Americans live. Give it a rest. November 29th is Buy Nothing Day.